Welcome back to more Sip the Talent. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk about Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon was traded to the Houston Texans from the Cincinnati Bengals for a seventh round pick in the offseason. And for a seventh round pick, the Houston Texans got in his debut 30 carries, 159 yards, and a touchdown. 5.3 yards per carry. Now, inside those numbers, Joe Mixon recorded 22 rushes for 118 yards and a touchdown on rushes outside of the tackle in week one. His 22 such rushes were the most of his career, while his 118 such yards were the second most. Mixon's 118 yards on the outside rushes were the most by Texans in the running back era since next-gen stats are being kept since 2016. Now, to get this production while only giving up a seven-round pick, I'm sure it's much more than the Texans bargained for. Let's take a look at Joe Mixon's debut and how he punished, and I mean punished, the Colts' defense. Welcome back to more Sip the Talent. All right, here you get a little toss action from Joe. Gets the thing up in there, then he finishes his run. That's what I love about me. He always finishes his run. Take a look at the end zone angle of it. And it's tossing. Normally, toss try to hit, hit outside, but he reads it perfect. Reads it perfectly. And it just follows his fullback. Follows that leverage of that block. And it looks like he's going to take on, uh, is that speed? Or is that Frank? He kind of misses. It looks like he's going to block this guy. And and I think Mixon makes the, the right cut, thinking he's going to block that guy and hit it up in there. But he glances off and goes to that dude. And because Mixon kind of hits it downhill and starts to get up full speed, he kind of runs through the arm tackle of whichever linebacker that is. Yeah, that's speed. He runs through that arm tackle and then lowers his shoulder, protects the ball, finishes the run for another two or three yards. And that's going to be the key in here, finishing, finishing his runs. If, if it's not broke, don't fix it. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Same type play, little toss action. It, 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 it just gets blocked a little different this time. But Mixon reads it well. Great vision by, by 28. Go a little toss with the fullback leading. Going to crack down. The fullback kind of lets the, the end go. So I'm sorry, the tight end lets the end go. So now the fullback slash H-back picks him up. And you got a hat on a hat everywhere else. Hat on a hat here. Hat on a hat here, even though he's losing. Hat on a hat here. But look at the alley that he creates. Mix it with the great vision. Sees the cutback. You got, uh, I think this is Tunsil, kind of going to kind of seal that off too. So there's great vision by Mixon, great blocking by the, the Texans O-line, with the exception of maybe right here on this linebacker. And again, put the ball away. Once you get in traffic, right here, two hands, two arms, put the ball away. And now, finish the run. Finish the run. Another two or three yards by finishing the run. On this one, you'll get straight outside zones to the left. You can see great patience, great vision by mixing. Pretty good blocking by the uh, offensive line to, to split the defense in half. And again, you see him finish the run. There's a theme here. Finishing the run. Punishing the defenders. Number 20 has gotten it a couple times in, these highlight, in this highlight package. Look at the offensive line. Get the double team, hat on the hat. Hat on a hat. Watch Tunsil split it. You see Mixon already starting to cut back. These two guys right here are responsible for splitting the defense. When Tunsil turns back, the defense is going to split. And that's what you want as an uh, offensive line when you run zone concepts. Somebody's going to mess up, split the defense, and the running back has to see it. There's the split right there. There's the turn back block right here. There's the split happening right here. Mixon going to hit it. Yeah, right through there. Now, 
one on one with 20. This is the guy that Mixon has been punishing throughout this packet. Gonna punish him again. Finish the run. Cover it up. It's another four yards after contact. They make contact right here on maybe about the 42. Mixon don't fall to the 45. And for, for more verification. Contact is made at the 40. Mixon's foot is on the 41 when they make contact. Mixon is down at the 45. Another four yards because he's finishing his run. Big boy runs from Joe Mixon. All right, we're going to get outside zone again from the Texans. This time to the right. And watch this little hesitation slash jump cut from Joe Mixon. You see it right here? This little hesitation slash jump cut. Right there. The division. And when you see the end zone view, he had multiple lanes he could have taken after that little hesitation. The O-line did a great job of providing lanes for him. There's the hesitation. Now, right there, he, he could have taken this lane or he could have cut it on back here. He chose the latter. Neither one, in my opinion, would have been wrong. Great job. Great job. Great vision. Great burst. Love when the, the attempt, when he reached out to touch that. Look how he covered it up. Look how he covered the ball up when the threat was there for them to reach out and knock the ball out. Look how he covered it up. The awareness. Okay, I'm running through traffic. Let me put two hands on the ball so they can't knock it out and still keep my speed. Falling forward. Falling forward. He had a great day in his debut with the Houston Texans. Now we're going to get some, some shotgun off, uh, outside zone. We're going to get the lead by this guy going out. Get everybody going in this direction blocking. And he's just trying to get to the edge. Mixon's trying to get to the edge with this one. Everybody got a hat on a hat. Linebacker gets picked up. Turns up on the edge. He just gets tripped up by 20. You can see D'Amico, you know, anticipating him running. Coach expecting him to break it. Coach loving his new toy. D'Amico's loving his new toy they got for a seventh round pick. For, for, for pennies, basically. They got him for pennies. But good job by the O-line, man. Hat on the hat. Good job by a Dalton Schultz. I think that is picking up uh, Franklin. Raven Jordan out there on the cornerback. I mean, this look right here is, is perfect. That's perfection. Mixing with the knees up. If he could just get out of this tackle right here, I ain't going to say he's home free, but he get a lot more yardage if he could just get out of that tackle. But that's a good tackle by 20. But basically, Mixon was giving 20 the business all game long. Now, to, to kind of close this out, for the life of me, I can't understand why Cincinnati would not run Joe Mixon more than they did. They were content with throwing the ball all over the place to J. Maul and T. Higgins with Joe Burrow. But they gave this guy up for a seven-round pick, and he is going to play huge dividends for the Houston Texans this year. But Houston, y'all got one for basically peanuts. And um, if Joe continues to put up, and I know he gonna have, he's not going to have 30 carries every game. He ain't going to run him in the ground like that. But if he can show out like he did this game and, and provide you with a solid run game with the weapons they got and at the maturation of C.J. Stroud, Houston Texans, we already know, were a problem last year. They're going to be even more of a problem this year. I just wanted to bring, you know, to light the the, the debut of, of Joe Mixon in this potent Houston Texans offense. This is Coach Evans with more Sip to Tally. Uh, if you have not liked the video and you're still here, please do so. If you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, and then hit the bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop throughout the 2024 season. I appreciate you guys. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And like Joe Mixon, leaving Cincinnati, we out. Peace.